Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over the V Rising update regarding the PS5 release date. Now, this is something I get a lot of questions about on the channel, so I'm going to go over it. Um, something I want to preface this with is that there's two main questions I have before going through any of this material. Uh, one common question I get is, when is it coming out? And the other question I get is, will there be crossplay? So let's get right into it. V Rising coming to PlayStation 5 on June 11th. Wow, uh, that release date is a lot sooner than I anticipated. I was starting to speculate that maybe they were going to release it on Halloween or something, you know, the month of October, because it was taking a while. We heard nothing about this uh, other than, you know, just a few hints here and there, but no real information. But finally, we have a release date, so PS5 players rejoice. Be among the first to ever conquer Vardoran on the PlayStation 5 early this June and sink your fangs into the ultimate vampire experience from the comfort of your couch. Rise from your grave, withered from centuries of dormant slumber. You are a vampire, clawing your way back into a world that has forgotten to fear your kind. Embrace your evil nature, hunt for blood, and become a decadent predator of the night. Construct a mighty castle worthy of your legacy and rise. Okay, let's uh, let's watch this trailer. I double checked to make sure this trailer was new. Yes, it is. This isn't the same thing we saw before. Uh, I know there was another video trailer we went over regarding, I think, the PlayStation 5. But uh, yeah, this is the newest trailer. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let me make sure it's on the highest settings. All right, here we go. Cool. Wow. Uh, so that was cool. I want to say this is probably um, PS5 graphics. Uh, let's see. We have four story castles already being shown here. Um, okay. Let's see if there's anything that stood out to me. This is a lot of the footage we've seen before. Uh, just it looks like on the PS5, I assume. Man, it actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, if this is if this is what I think this is, and this is you know in-game footage from a PS5, this this actually isn't bad at all. This this looks pretty good. Um, trying to see if there's anything that really stands out to me here, but uh, not really. Uh. This is a lot of the stuff we've seen before, so there's nothing new except for uh, the June 11th date for the release on PS5. Now, that being said, uh, it says here, pre-order on PS5 to get a five days early access. Interesting. So I guess you can pre-order for uh, early access of the game on PS5. That's awesome. Engage in visceral action RPG combat, survival crafting gameplay, Build your castle and forge your arsenal. Hunt for blood and slip between the shadows or risk getting burned by the sun. A dark fantasy world filled with terrifying creatures from man to beast and beyond. Slay 50 plus powerful bosses to absorb their knowledge and power. Choose your style of play. 11 weapon types and 50 plus spells. Dress to kill. Swap your armor appearance and choose from a wide variety of color options. Face the ultimate vampire rival, slay Dracula himself, to claim your place. The Rising Standard Edition. Okay, so it looks like there's different editions for the game for PS5, so let's go over them. You can pre-order V Rising to have it as soon as it becomes available on the PlayStation Store for $39.99. Uh, that's Euro or USD. With an additional 10% off, if you have a subscription to PlayStation Plus. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, that that I'm trying not to get worried just seeing this because uh, 
one question I said before we started was, is there crossplay? So hopefully we get that confirmation somewhere here because we didn't see that in the video. Um, so let's continue. V Rising Castlevania Edition. In partnership with Konami Digital Entertainment the, and Stunlock Studios, the bespoke crossover between V Rising and Castlevania is also coming to the PlayStation 5. If you take advantage of the pre-order bundle of the V Rising Castlevania Edition for $60, or 59.99 euro usd with an additional 10 percent off if you have a subscription to playstation plus i have theories as to why this keeps coming up but i'm gonna continue you will receive not only the legacy of castlevania premium pack with all of the delicious castlevania cosmetics included but also a five-day early access to begin playing june 6th wow that's really soon actually that's only that's only in a few days that's like Hold on, when is the 6th? That's like two weeks! That's two weeks and some change. Damn. V Rising Complete Edition. If you fully want to flex your vampiric style and eternally elegant taste, we also have the V Rising Complete Edition to slake your thirst. At 99.99 euro USD. Woo! Yikes. With an additional 10% off if you have a subscription to PlayStation Plus, the V Rising Complete Edition contains all cosmetic packs currently available in the game, which includes the Eldest Bloodlines pack, the Dracula's Relics pack, the Sinister Evolution pack, and the Legacy of Castlevania pack, all in one complete package that also includes the five day early access to V Rising on the PlayStation 5 on June 6th. Okay, yeah, I know I said yikes, but it's because I'm broke, but <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's not con considering how much stuff you get in all the packs. I think this is kind of worth it, honestly. All right, continue pre order V rising. Okay, so we could pre order now if we wanted to. Uh, and then I think that's the end. Yes, it looks like that's the end right there. So uh, I wonder what happens if I click on these. Does it just bring me to the PlayStation? Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, so it just shows me the PlayStation Store. Let's see what it looks like on here. Okay, uh, this is me in post-production adding a side note here. So I didn't notice this before until I started editing, but as it turns out, if we zoom in really close here, it shows that PlayStation Plus is required for online play. I'm a little concerned looking at this because I don't know if that means that all the PlayStation players will only be on the, you know, on PlayStation servers and through, you know, I, like, I, I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, let's see, supports up to 60 players with play, uh, PlayStation Plus. Okay, online play optional, one player. Wait, why does it say one player? That's odd. It should say multiplayer. It's a multiplayer game. That's odd. Okay. Vibration function and trigger effects supported dual sense wireless controllers. Okay. So I'm a little bit confused here. Just looking at this, right? Okay. So I'm a little bit concerned because I'm seeing that it says PlayStation Plus required for online play. That to me is probably a sign that there isn't cross play. Okay, so I'm looking at the official Discord right now, and this is where the post is. So yeah, this seems to be legit. It was posted today at 6.29 a.m. This was posted by Jeremy Bearson, the community manager at Stonelock Studios, and it reads as follows. Hey gang, we won't be doing crossplay between PS5 and Steam for a lot of technical and logistical reasons. That's really unfortunate, but not surprising. Um... Wow. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, PS5 peeps. That really sucks, actually. Um, that's probably one of the most disappointing things I've heard in a while. But that being said, it kind of makes sense. Uh, this is the first game that Stunlock has put on a console, so it's not that surprising that this is the case. And of course, the amount of time and effort with technical and logistical reasons being tied into this kind of i don't like i'm not a dev i don't you know i don't know the actual technical issues that come up with this but i'm sure it's not an easy task to do crossplay. um it's really unfortunate but i'm curious to see what actually ends up happening as a result so like 
are we going to have two separate, very different communities of people playing this game? Are we going to see people hop from the uh, PC version over to PS5 version instead? Are we going to see more players say, no, I want to play with my friends. I'm going to play on PC. And are, P are we going to see more sales on the PC version as a result of the lack of crossplay? I wonder. I, I seriously wonder this because it looks like um, the... So I think the reason behind this or one reason behind this is because the servers, first of all, when you're connecting the people's servers, like whether it be a private server or a public server that's like a dedicated server that someone is hosting that's not an official server, uh, I think that might be part of the technical uh, logistics that might be a little bit of problem here as far as why this can't, you know, why this isn't going to be a thing. Um, it is extremely disappointing because I was trying to get, you know, I was getting hyped. I was like, come on, we got this, right? But, um... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It'd be nice to see it at some point, but as of right now, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So until I hear anything about this, uh, that's probably like very, uh, very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, are you guys going to buy this game on PS5? Are you, you know, are you new to the game and already playing on PC? Are you um, trying to figure out whether or not you're going to be playing uh, the game at all? Like these are these are so many questions, but uh, I'm going to continue with the video and uh, just keep in mind that for the rest of the video that was recorded before I came across this information. So I didn't know this at the time of recording. So just know there is no cross play. OK, no cross play between PC and PS5. So I just want to say that real quick uh, to get that out of the way. And yeah, let's get back to the video um yeah i see the 10 percent off all right cool so yeah you could just pre-order that now um and then you have the three different editions listed here so yeah uh what do you guys think i i mean i really wish that they told us whether or not there's crossplay that's probably the biggest the biggest uh question i get on the channel all the time uh but at least we got one of two questions answered so june 11th but if you pre-order, it's June 6th, I believe, for the early uh, for the early access. Yeah, June 6th. So <laughs> I had to page search because I'm dumb. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for the PS5 release? Uh, do you already play the game on PC, but you're planning to buy it for PS5? Are you looking to buy it for someone else? Or, you know, do you know someone who's like on the sidelines wanting to buy the game for PS5, just waiting for that release and maybe... You know, you're hoping that there's crossplay. I mean, I also am not familiar with how um, PS5 releases usually go when it comes to the PlayStation Store, when it comes to new games. Um, so I, I'm not exactly sure how that usually plays out. So I don't know, maybe someone in the comments can tell me, uh, what do you think? Either way, I have been definitely enjoying my time when it comes to this game. I mean, when it when 1.0 dropped on the PC version, it was just so cool, so fun, so exciting. I mean, just there were so many elements to the game that were improved. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff that can be improved with the game. Maybe I'll do another video on that in the future. Um, for those of you who maybe are considering whether or not to get this on PS5, would you be interested in me doing a review or comparison of mouse and keyboard versus uh, PS5 DualSense controller uh, for this game? Because I, I played this game both on PS5 controller on my PC and also on mouse and keyboard. So if you want, I can maybe do a comparison video, uh, maybe show off the differences and give you guys a better idea of what to expect. If you're interested in that kind of video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I'm a Shiloh Ace Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and also on Twitter for this month. I do stream V Rising most days recently, but there are other games I play as well. You can always find my schedule on my YouTube community tab. I usually post it on Sundays, so feel free to check that out. And as always, Sholo out.